this guy is very much listed in that 6 to 12 range. So I'm glad we're talking about him today. And it's Matthew Wood out of a University of Connecticut. He's a big guy, 6'3", 193 pounds, a left wing. Um, and as Chris Peter said, big size, scoring ability. And he was the youngest player in college hockey this year and mm-hmm. averaged close to a point per game. Um, opportunities, his skating's not great, according to Chris Peters, um, who you know we depend on for much of our draft yeah, insight. All city but- correspondent. Yeah, absolutely. But he had uh, 34 points in 35 games this season with UConn. But he's actually a Canadian kid playing in the NCAA. So, got draw some comparisons to because of his size and playing at UConn to Tage Thompson. Uh, uh, but they're careful saying there, buddy. when, when you talk there. about Tage Thompson, the one thing that the Matthew Wood, you talk about his size and his skill and his surprise that he had in his freshman year of college. The one thing that scouts look as a drawback for him because of his size is his skating ability might be his one drawback when you talk about Matthew Wood. Um, they feel college is the right spot for him because he can work on his speed. You practice more. You're going to get better strength training at the NCAA level. So I, I think he's a guy... That that I I think he might slip past twelve. I mean, there are some he was four, rated fourth in the last Central Scouting um, in North American skaters, but I think his skill level in his skating may push him just a little bit. He's still a first round pick, and he's still highly touted because of his frame. And we yeah. talk about Bill Armstrong liking those big players. This may be a guy at six three, nearly two hundred pounds. That's only going to put on more size with that offensibility. It, it's somebody that that Bill Armstrong and the Coyote staff definitely may look at. Yeah, for sure. Um, Chris Peters also said he thinks he'll be in that top 15 range. Could be the 6 to 12 range, but we'll see. But just overall, he's a good offensive talent. Um, and obviously, you know, he's not like Bedard and, and Vantilli, but a top 15 That's pick, what we said likely. about this, these tiers of these drafts. Yeah. There's so many different tiers. And he could, it wouldn't surprise me if he ends up in that 7 or 8, but he could drop to 17, 18, 19, 20. Like, there are so many questions about need and what you're looking for. If you're looking for a center, if you're looking for speed, if you're looking for skill, if you're looking for size. We, we saw what New Jersey did last year at the draft by picking a defenseman second. We didn't see that coming. Right. So it, you just have no idea. This kid's a high, it's a high talented collegiate player that's projected to go in the first round so you better know his name absolutely 